aging dams and seawalls across Massachusetts are in growing need of repair, and in some cases, removal. Many are in poor or unsatisfactory condition, posing public safety risks such as flooding and deteriorating infrastructure. Hazardous dams and seawalls not only affect human safety, but they also have long-lasting effects on the environment. These man-made structures impact water quality, fish passage to spawning sites, and the transportation of sediments which are crucial to maintaining a healthy aquatic ecosystem. To address these hazardous dams and critical coastal infrastructure, in 2016, Governor Charlie Baker awarded $10 million to communities and groups across the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The funding is supported by the Dam and Seawall Repair or Removal Fund and the Governor's annual capital budget. The awards will go towards supporting the engineering and construction phase for seven dam repair projects five dam removal projects, and eight coastal protection reconstruction projects. There are hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of high hazard dams in Massachusetts in need of repair. Well, communities hit hard by coastal flooding last winter, and there are a lot of them, are now getting money, millions of dollars, on the line to repair dams and seawalls ahead of this upcoming winter. The problem is this part of the Situate Seawall, which, thanks to a $3 million state grant on Tuesday, will be completely demolished and rebuilt stronger and taller. Is going to make a big difference. Massive seawalls in coastal communities like this one will get millions of dollars in grants, but millions more is actually headed much further inland to do repair work on dams and levees to protect people and property far from the ocean. We have $10 million to award today to nine communities. Several towns with old and failing dam systems will now get big money to fix what's wrong, like Taunton had to do with the Wittenden Pond Dam site. There's a lot more work to be done with respect to this, to not just fix what people have that breaks, but also to make sure we do the kinds of things we need to do to adapt to that changing environment. The Dam and Seawall Repair or Removal Program implemented by the Baker Polito Administration seeks to enhance, preserve, and protect the aesthetics and the natural resources provided by these ecosystems in hopes to promote public health, public safety, and ecological restoration. Thomas Daly, the Federal Policy and Legislation Analyst, and our team of state analysts are working for the Baker Polito Administration, looking into this program and determining its efficiency. To determine this, many questions must be examined. Are these repairs and or removals safe for the public and the environment? Is it worth it? Is it too expensive? Is the funding for each town and city enough? Is it biased or unfair? How is the condition of these seawalls and dams determined? Is there enough funding to make a real impact? What are the short-term and long-term effects? How will the repaired dams be maintained in the future? This analysis will determine the viability of the dam and seawall repair or removal program and determine how to proceed in the future with issues concerning dams and seawalls.